Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Jesse Jackson was just diagnosed with awful incurable disease. Jesse Jackson was just cured with an awful, incurable disease. He made the announcement in a statement on Friday. My family and I began to notice changes about three years ago. For a while, I resisted interrupting my work to visit a doctor. But as my daily physical struggles intensified I could no longer ignore the symptoms, so I acquiesced, he said in a statement. Jesse Jackson has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Recognition of the effects of this disease on me has been painful, and I have been slow to grasp the gravity of it. For me, a Parkinson's diagnosis is not a stop sign but rather a signal that I must make lifestyle changes and dedicate myself to physical therapy in hopes of slowing the disease's progression, said Jackson. Jesse Jackson has been very vocal against President Trump especially against his comments regarding NFL football players disrespecting the flag. To go from picking cotton balls to picking footballs and basketballs without freedom is not very much progress, said Jackson of multimillionaires being told to stand for the national anthem. The players are objectified in a sense. Mr. McNair is a product of the South. They act like he's a victim or misunderstood, but those players have made him a wealthy man said Jackson in a recent interview. Juanita Broderick exposes huge new info dump on Bill Clinton's rape, it's shocking. Bill Clinton's rape victim Juanita Broderick has been sharing her story for years. I was 35 years old when Bill Clinton, Arkansas Attorney General raped me and Hillary tried to silence me. I am now 73. It never goes away, she tweeted. Now, after the liberal media has shunned her and demeaned her for years, they now suddenly believe her. Why? Because Bill Clinton is no longer useful to them. Now, Broderick has come forward with new information on the disgusting rape. The time has come for me to talk about my life and abuse in full, Broderick wrote on Twitter. I am working on a book with, journalist Nick Lally, to set the record straight on what Bill Clinton did to me, she tweeted. The book is called You've Better Put Some Ice on That. How I Survived Being Raped by Bill Clinton. This is something that Bill allegedly said to her after raping her in 1978. This is the part that always stays in my mind, the way he put on his sunglasses. Then he looked at me and said you better put some ice on that. Then he left explained Broderick. The media has been hypocritical and cruel to Broderick for years. It is great they are finally listening to her. If only the reasons why weren't so pathetic. Shepard Smith could lose job at Fox after being caught lying about Hillary's Uranium One deal. Fox's Shepard Smith went on a long rant defending Hillary Clinton from the Uranium One scandal. Breitbart, as well as many other sources have pointed out the lies in Smith's rant. Now people are angry. Smith also fails to account for the fact that Uranium One's chairman Ian Telfer moved $2.3 million, much it undisclosed, to the Clinton Foundation as the deal was being reviewed by CFI US. Furthermore, Smith falsely claims that the Clinton Foundation disclosed these donations to the charity but simply forgot to reveal the individual names of the donors. This is entirely false, writes Breitbart in an article devoted to debunking Smith. This isn't all but many fans all over the internet are demanding that Smith be fired from Fox or move to CNN, where he really belongs. Shepard Smith needs to move to CNN. He is as big a Trump hater as the other fools on CNN. Fox should dump him, writes on user. Did anyone watch Shep Smith, just explain how Hillary Clinton had nothing to do with uranium deal? What a joke Fox News. Sent him to CNN, wrote another. I normally don't tune into Shep Sauer on Fox, can't stand his bias, but today while surfing channels he caught my interest. In 3MTS he argued Hillary's defense, 
how she had nothing to do with Uranium One and how Trump had lied about it. He has to go. Wrote another. Hundreds of users made similar comments. Do you think Fox will listen to their fans and give Smith the boot he deserves? Sarah Sanders crushes Democrats' hopes of impeaching Trump with just one sentence. Democratic Representatives Steve Cohen and Luis Gutierrez introduced five articles of impeachment against President Trump. The time has come to make clear to the American people and to this president that his train of injuries to our Constitution must be brought to an end through impeachment, said Cohen. I don't expect the House Judiciary Committee, which is operated like a branch of the administration, to take up hearings, he continued. There are many reasons why I think the president is an awful president, an awful person, but not all those reasons rise to the level of impeaching a sitting president. We are not seeking his impeachment because of what he did before he was president, said Gutierrez. Sarah Huckabee Sanders shut down their parade in just one sentence. It's disappointing that extremists in Congress still refuse to accept the president's decisive victory in last year's election, she said in a statement. She also pointed out that their time would be better spent focusing on tax relief for American families and businesses. RNC spokesman Michael Lawrence also spoke out against this. House Democrats lack a positive message and are completely unwilling to work across the aisle, so instead they've decided to support a baseless radical effort that the vast majority of Americans disagree with, he said. Watch CNN's Brooke Baldwin call President Trump a racist for saving the lives of black UCLA players. President Trump negotiated and freed three American UCLA basketball players who were arrested and imprisoned in China. Do you think the three UCLA basketball players will say thank you President Trump? They were headed for 10 years in jail. Tweeted President Trump. Although Trump just saved the lives of these players, according to CNN's Brooke Baldwin, Trump's tweet makes him a racist. You have these three black men and you have this white president and part of it has been the undertone of based on previous tweets," said Baldwin. I'm just going to go there, and where I'm going with it is that you have this president essentially saying to these three black men, essentially like where's my apology. She said even though President Trump didn't say where's my apology. But truth has never stopped CNN before. You better thank me because I got you home, and isn't it amazing to see three black athletes thanking the president?" responded guest S.E. Cup in agreement. I don't think that's going to make someone like Colin Kaepernick second guess his thoughts on police brutality, or any of the other athletes who have serious issues with race in this country or police brutality, I don't think it is going to change their minds. But, Trump got a very small ego boost today, he said. This is terrible. They will insult President Trump no matter what he does. Washington Post argues it is okay for male senators to sexually assault women if they are Democrats. As decent people on both sides of the aisle are calling for sexual assaulters to leave their positions of power. The Washington Post argues that it is actually totally fine to sexually assault women if you are a Democrat. This is not an exaggeration. The Post released an article called I'm a Feminist. I study rape culture. And I don't want Al Franken to resign. Cynics on both the right and left will presume I am passing by this particular steam tray on 2017's smorgasbord of feminist outrage because Franken is a Democrat, and so am I. I was even his proud constituent for two years, in the most superficial sense, this is true. But it's meaningless to say it's because I am a Democrat without asking why I am a Democrat," wrote the supposedly feminist author. If you understand what it means to be a Democrat today, that is, why it makes sense to vote blue over red in this highly polarized political environment, you can understand why it might not make the most sense to demand Franken's resignation, effective immediately. She wrote, I am a Democrat because I am a feminist who lives under a two-party system, 
where one party consistently votes against the interests of women while the other sometimes does not. I am not a true believer in the party itself nor in any politician, she writes. I am a realist who recognizes that we get two viable choices, and Democrats are members of the only party position to pump the brakes on Republicans' gleeful race toward a Woody and dystopia, she writes. This is an absolute disgrace.